We're here live at ISTE 2019, and I'm here with ISTE CEO Richard Kulata. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. You must be excited about the week that was. 20,000 educators all here to celebrate what's happening in the classrooms. What, did excited, what excited you? I, I have a very long list, but there's a number of things. I'd love to see how much is happening with data this year. So I just before coming over to talk to you, was over looking at this booth over here where Microsoft has taken some uh, examples from NASA and put them into a virtual reality experience to see how gravity moves things differently. But the cool part was afterwards, it spits out all the data, so you can pull it into an Excel uh, spreadsheet and start to actually get into it and do stuff with it. And, and I've seen that theme throughout a lot of different parts of the conferences, not just like experiences for kids, but experiences that then lead to data that they can use to learn more. There are so many great things happening. I noticed that one of the themes here is interconnectivity. Mm -hmm. Companies talking to each other, teachers talking to each other, and having the ability to do the entire project without leaving a single app. Yeah. What does that mean to today's classrooms? I mean, I think there's this big shift that you're you're just hitting right on the head, which is we used to, we spent so much time just shoving content at kids. And I think what we're starting to see is now saying, well, really these devices that we give them, they give us a much better return on that investment if we treat them like tools. And we say, here's a, here's a way, a, a, a tool for you to design, to create, to problem solve, and let's focus on that and not worry so much about trying to just shove content at their you know, faces to read as opposed to build and design. With 20,000 educators here and many, many more who couldn't make the conference, yeah. everybody wants to know how do they get involved with ISTE? How, what can I do as a teacher to be a part of this amazing community? Yeah, well fortunately we know as much as we love to have our 20,000 best friends come to visit us, there are many educators that can't come. We work in uh, 127 countries around the mm. world. Lots of people, both in the US and outside. We have a bunch of places to get involved. If you can't be here, one is just go to isti.org and you'll see a whole bunch of things there, including our professional learning networks, which is a great way to get involved with teachers that are, are doing good things. But another thing that we just announced that I'll share is something that we're calling DigSit Commit. Mm. So digsitcommit.org is our uh, work that we're doing to try to expand our, our thinking around digital citizenship and say, hey, it's more than just a list of don'ts. It's more than just saying, you know, don't be, uh, don't be a jerk online and don't post an inappropriate picture, you know. It's much more about how do we, uh, how do we use technology to make the world around us a better place? Mm -hmm. and, and yes, how do we stay safe online, but also how do we create safe spaces for others? So that's another great way to get involved, just by going to digsitcommit.org. So I got to ask, did you enjoy yourself here in Philadelphia? I, You've been busy. I always enjoy myself here in Philadelphia, mostly because it's like a it's like a supercharge of all these ideas that I get from educators and from leaders that I never would have thought of on my own. It sort of like fills me with uh, ideas and examples for the rest of the year. Now, the one thing I love about this being the last day of ISTE is that I know that by the time I go home, if I go to isteconference.org, yeah. you guys are already prepared with next year's yeah. website yeah. getting ready to roll out. What are you looking forward to throughout this year? And what excites you about Anaheim next year? So I think uh, this year, we're really excited about some of the work that we're starting to do around artificial intelligence. Mm. You'll see more of that coming from us. We'll also be amplifying messages from other people uh, where there's good work that's happening. Helping, and, and not just the technical side of it, but the ethical side of it, right? Like, what are the questions that we need to be asking? What do we need to have teachers know about AI in order to have conversations with students about what it means to be working on teams that aren't all human all the time. Right. Um, so that's something I'm really excited about. And in Anaheim, I think you'll get to see some really neat uh, examples of some of the partnerships that we have going on, particularly with our schools, like LAUSD is a big partner of, of ISD. And so there'll be some great examples to see about what it looks like uh, when we're really engaged in the classroom. And, I, and it's going to be a wonderful event. We're wrapping up a fantastic ISTE 2019. Don't forget to connect with ISTE. You can, of course, go to Twitter at ISTE. That's right. ISTEconference.org. ISTE. ISTE.org. ISTE.org. That's it. Richard, thank you so much for your time. So good to talk to you. Thanks so much. And we'll be back live from ISTE 2019. This is TeacherCast. We'll be right back.